Okay, I think this will be the final video on this thing. It's it's not it's not uh, quite done, but I'm just tired of filming it. I want to just kind of work on it and get it going. Well, let me show you that it's all working other than calibrating it. Really what I need to do is just uh, make sure the ranges uh, are, are correct and the zero offset is correct and stuff. And that's all that's all just software. So nothing to do, nothing to do with the hardware. Um, so a couple things I had to do. Uh, let's see here. Let me let me turn this off. Let me show you what I had to do to make it work. Uh, and it's going to be hard to photograph because it's kind of hidden. But right there, you see a green bodge wire. Uh, I just missed a trace. Uh, I don't know why, but I just missed it. So uh, that needed to be added. Um, and that was the voltage input to the uh, uh, to the little display voltmeter thing here. Uh, the other thing that I had to change, which wasn't my error, is... Um, the um, there's another green bodge wire here, but I didn't add that one. They added that one. There's a strange part of the circuit that I didn't map out. There's uh, a let's see. There's a two and a half volt reference here. So there's a plus two and a half volt reference, a minus two and a half volt reference, and there's some other ones over here. Anyway, it it generates a 3.75 volts in some odd fashion to power up the digital circuitry. So the digital circuitry is not powered at five volts, it's powered at 3.75. And it goes through a resistive divider to get it to that voltage. So I don't quite understand why they had to do it that way, but they did. And my circuit board draws uh, some current because it has uh, some stuff associated with it, the backlight. Remember the backlight came from someplace else. Now the backlight's coming from the OLED display and I'm running the, the microprocessor at full speed. I'll probably drop the clock of the microprocessor. If you drop it down, it'll draw less current and it's a battery powered application, so it's smart to do that. So I will definitely do that. Um, and that's just a, a, a programming feature of the Arduino. When you go into the Arduino uh, pull down menu, you can actually choose which clock you want and it'll burn that fuse. It's not a, a hard fuse, but it's a software fuse and it'll operate at any, any, uh, any uh, megahertz you want. So I'll, I'll drop it down to say one megahertz or it's probably operating at 24 megahertz right now. I'll drop it down to one megahertz and that'll save us a bunch of energy. All right, uh, so uh, like I said, uh, I, I drew too much current, so I added another bodge wire on the back. This bodge wire uh, connects the front panel to the battery, and so it has enough current to, to handle the front panel now. Okay, let me kind of flip this around here. Let me put the battery pack back on. I'll turn this thing on so you can see that it sort of works for the most part right now. Okay, there we go. Uh, so we'll turn turn this guy on. Mel's Grio, IMSA guy, um, and then we'll have a particular uh, voltage. And right now I'm using my my um, uh, calibrator um, to give me to give me voltages. And when you go to times ten, it's nine times ten is ninety. Uh, so let's. Let's increase, let's see, let's go here to, to this one. Let's increase the voltage so that we're getting exactly full scale. The number's over here. Let's see, what am I doing wrong? Oh, I see, I lost my ground. I lost my ground, that's why. That was dumb. Okay, so let's set it to, uh, set it to 100 here. Let's go back. 97, 99, we'll set it to 99, okay. And then if I drop it by a factor of 10, it goes to 9.9. .9. If I drop that by a factor of 10, it goes to uh, 0.99 or 1. Okay, so you can see that it, uh, the times 10 uh, are working just fine. Full, these are the full scale numbers. Two, it will be 200 full scale, 20 full scale, and 10, uh, and one, uh, two full scale. So it's just factors of 10. Anyway, like I said, they're all built in there now, and that's just working fine. So uh, we've already tested the output. So the actual instrument itself works great. The only thing that doesn't work is the, uh, is the calibration of the display. The batteries now work fine. They charge. Uh, so I say the project is done. It's been fun. 
Uh, so now I have a, um, uh, an amplifier, which I can use with my photodiodes and stuff. And um, I don't have to pay, uh, I don't pay $600 for one.